What's up, everybody? Welcome to this episode of Initial Dweebs. This is going to be a little auxiliary episode. We're working on the daily driver, 1981 TE72. Basically, this is the baby hauler. It's got this crazy high-rise header that is just a pain in the ass. It's been cracking everywhere. It's cracked here. This runner's completely cracked. So I'm going to pull this header out. We're going to try to weld it up to the best of our ability. If it cracks again, I'm going to throw it in that fucking lake right there. So let's get after it. Hi. So I'm just doing spark plugs today. Feel my throttle cables and stuff in here and they feel pretty loose, so that's fine. But I mean that's a pretty easy adjustment. So just doing some basic stuff and then I I'm gonna spend a little time buttoning up stuff on the Z so we can prime it next week. Um, yeah, that's it. Yeah boy. We're using rocks and sticks because they don't got tools. Right. I get this, wrangle this header out. There she blows, dude. Titanic artifact. Ooh, look at that crack, dude. Holy shit. You know what the best way to fix a crack on a header is? It's a hose clamp. <laughs> Jesus, dude. There's like no saving this fucking thing. Ugh. Alright, well, I guess we're gonna get it ready and just kind of see where I'm going to attack this fucking header at. Let's uh, oh Jesus, oh son of a bitch. So here's the damage, it's uh, right here if you look at it, it's fucking cracked all the way around, it's cracked up here on this runner all the way around. I got all the runners welded up, and it's pretty sturdy, but as a precautionary measure, I'm going to brace these runners together with a little plate seal so they don't vibrate independently from each other and cause more stress cracks, because that's what I could see as the big problem here, is that none of these are connected at all, able to just vibrate, there's no structural rigidity there, so I'm going to put a couple of these between some of the runners to uh, hopefully minimize stress cracks, so let's get after it. Welded it together, did the best I could for how brittle the metal is. It's old metal. Um, I'm gonna throw it back in there and hopefully it fucking doesn't blow up again because it's gonna go in the lake. Sorry, environmentalists. Alright, guys, let's start it up and see if it sounds like a lawnmower. Exhaust leak coming from the header. I guess I need to get a new intake or a header manifold gasket. 
All right, that's a wrap.